Good morning, everyone. Surf Gal. Today we are playing some more Final Fantasy IV Ultima. Heading down into the core. At this point, we are still encounters off opening treasure chests. And most of that is because we've got a couple more bosses to fight, and this one I'm not looking forward to, but we'll see how it goes. Ethan Blue Planet, think to wield the Blade of Black. Ogo Pogo. Starts off with Tsunami, double cast, which will instantly remove half the hit points from every character. Also hits like a ton of bricks, apparently. Big guard. Float. Um, scan? <laughs> Come on, Edward. Oh, oh, oh. We equipped Edward's armor after we did the plague fight. he getting hit so much harder like his his armor is actually really good now because he's not wearing any okay <laughs> that makes so much more sense it's like he shouldn't be getting that hit that hard okay we really need to keep him up because uh, he's got a. Or he's gonna use a decoy with his salve ability to give everybody. Okay, so we're gonna all potion. Big guard. Decoy. Float. Let's see if this is a quarter or half. Just a quarter. Awesome. Um. Let's start attacking. That feels like there was not a gap between, and that is kind of frustrating. Um, he instantly, like, that, there was very little gap between when he used the first and second wave of that, literally wave. Um, let's go ahead and silk. The 
This should get everybody at least healed back up partway. I'm gonna go ahead and use a X potion on Cecil. Uh, because he has the most hit points, those percentage-based attacks do the most to him. Getting just get edge. And Rydia going on our damage train. And Porum is gonna start healing. You know, white mage things. done a scan yet. I'm gonna risk that quick with Cecil. See where we're at on hit points. Never mind. We're at zero. Second Glass Helm and the Masamune. Theoretically, Edge's best weapon. Better in pretty much every way from the Murasame. I'm gonna go ahead and continue down the subterrain here, and we're gonna be grabbing all of the treasure chests. And I'm assuming there's going to be another boss fight on the way. I don't know that for sure, but it feels like a fair assumption based on how this has been structured so far. So far there's not been trap chests for these, which is probably good. I suppose I should double check what Rydia's Dragon Whip does in this because the other whips have been very different. Uh, that's not bad if I wanted to attack with her, but I don't. <laughs> Thorhammer. Uh, I'm gonna guess that that is, yet again, a very powerful... That's actually pretty mediocre. Cool. Feels like there should be hidden passages somewhere, but it's possible that I'm just reading too much into it. I'm still missing one of the other rooms. There's a second Hyperion. And that looks like the core. It's 
So I believe this is going to be a re effectively a refight of CPU. I don't know how different it is, but my goal here is going to be... Actually... I have a thought. Because we got a note that said that all elements will be absorbed. currently has holy and perfect. Fortunately, Rising Sun is not actually better. <laughs> Hyperion doesn't have an element. Cool. That's good to know. Dragon Whip doesn't have an element. I'm assuming Spoon doesn't have an element. Am I... Is, is this a... Uh, is this going to be an Edward v. the world situation? Oh, Ragnarok doesn't have an element. Duh literally the point of it. It's not ranged, but it just means it's going to take longer. I don't know if there's going to be new stuff on this. I'm assuming Spoon doesn't have an element. Does not have an element. Cool. Let's see if any of Edge's other weapons are valid. Cool, Murasame. So we just don't have ranged attacks on Cecil and on anyone. check here. Just to, uh, I'm going off the assumption that this is going to be similar to the vanilla CPU flare. Nuke can be reflected. S flare cannot, but it's multi-target. Sylph can't be reflected still, and is still non-elemental. So Sylph might be the way to go here. Ultima can't be reflected. Okay. I'm going to hope that this works like CPU and it's just a longer fight. We'll find out. Two attackers, one defender, AI Mark 1. Okay. So first thing I want to do... Okay, it does have slightly different attacks already. 
Um, first thing I'm going to do is scan this, the AI. I think this was the defender. We'll see. Yep. And then we want to take out one of the attackers. It hasn't used wall yet, so maybe we can actually attack it with magic? Seems like we can. Cool. So we'll just use the same strategy. I'm assuming if we kill all the attackers, it's going to globe 199 on us. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Laser is probably going to kill someone. Yep. And unfortunately, that means she missed the big guard. Which I should have done earlier. Recast Big Guard just to make sure that Rydia is uh, secured. Also just tops off hit points. Interesting that it can recover without having to Let's go ahead and fast on Rydia. Uh, it's interesting that it can recover without you getting rid of all of them this time. That actually makes it a lot more interesting fight. Has he been doing one the whole time and I just wasn't paying attention? I'm pretty sure he's been doing one the whole time and I just wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was doing other menu stuff when he was attacking, I, I think, because, uh, yeah, that's not what the goal was. Obviously. Basically just lost a turn there, because I had edge attack the wrong one. Of 
perfect. I'm just going to start passing Edge's or Edward's turns. Never mind. We're good. That went well. Gold seed and a couple decoys. We'll take it. Look out! At this point, I'm actually going to assume... How do I get there? I want that. <laughs> uh, at this point, I'm going to assume that... Possibly... Something has changed? First thing I'm gonna do though, so there was a black crystal on that little platform, and there was a similar black crystal in the room with the save point that told us to use non-elemental attacks against it. So I wanna go back here and see if this is related, also to save. <laughs> Every time we get another gold seed, Edward gets a little bit more viable. We, we already did that, though. Okay. I stand corrected. That is all it was. <laughs> so we're missing, I think, three things now. There's a treasure, or there's the sword that I saw, there's a treasure chest that I don't know how to get to, and there's a boss, uh, optional boss, Raiden, that we went past. I'm going to go ahead and continue. I want to see if this changed any, or if this unlocks further, or bleh. I want to see if there is more to explore further down, or if that was just guarding uh, Zoromus at this point. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, the swift blade of air is faster than any mortal can handle. I don't intend to give it up. The likes of you. Four fatal eyes. Back attack. Individual condemn. Okay. We get to see the absolute fun and confusion of uh, back attack condemns. K weak against lightning, air, and projectiles. Cool. Uh, 
I'm curious, so we're gonna try this once. I don't think it's gonna work. But we're gonna see if a remedy will get rid of Pinda. This should just be a two-shot if Ultima goes off next. Might be a two-shot even if Storm goes off next, but I'm not expecting it to be. And Edward should be able to get Cecil back up, hopefully, because items should have priority. Not quite. Nope. We're good. That should do it. The important one to level up here is still... Er... And that was my thought. Okay. So that's interesting. Um, I wasn't sure if the thing across from it was the boss, or if it was just another thing. remember this being a reference to something and I don't know what it is offhand. Forty-five K, no weakness <laughs> is found, okay. Uh let's see what these things do. Embrace, uh heal and petrify. That's nasty. There is something deeply unsettling about Bahmet not doing max damage. Okay. That was a strange noise that that just made. Demolish. Okay. That was an instant kill. I'm gonna just keep blasting away. Maybe I need to start... Maybe it would be better if I started single focusing down enemies, but... Let's do a quick check. I could use another heal. We'll do another heal. Start attacking the front one here. I'm gonna recast Big Guard with everybody alive.
Zot. That one doesn't have wall cast on it yet, so that felt good. That wasn't much damage. Unfortunately, if this kills, Borum's gonna miss the XP, but... They cast Wall on me. I think it's only fair that I reflect a nuke on them. Which did not kill. Which is kind of scary. I hate that I was on the right track earlier. So you kind of have to kill all three at the same time, is what I'm getting out of this. And they come back with full health, yep. Given that I know that now, I'm going to restart out. Actually, we're going to restart again. <laughs> gotcha! No, um... Grab those protect rings, ribbon. Can't remember what that that protect against a status element. I don't remember which one. the Genji shield protect against? Protect against something. I don't remember what it was offhand. Okay. No. The answer there is no. That protects against frog. That's just all elements. So, something she has equipped is protecting from stone.
Are stone and petrified different? That's annoying. Uh, he is not immune to it currently, but that's okay. So I have a little bit better uh, protection against petrification now. And I know that I'm aiming at 45,000 all at the same time. Let's get a scan off. So AOE is the key here. If somebody is taking a little bit less damage, I want to know. <laughs> I'm going to try and pay attention. Um, Mega Flare. Uh, the top one took 4,000 more damage than the others. This shouldn't kill any of them. And unfortunately, the bottom right one is still taking less damage. Less fair. Uh, let's do a Sylph on this bottom right guy. He's gonna die there. Now I get to try something I've been wanting to try for a while. Yes. It works. So the bottom right one there is like 5,000 damage behind some of the other ones right now. And this actually works out perfectly because I have Life Salve cured up, which automatically casts life on everybody. Wow, that's powerful. Why is Edward the best character in the game now? I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm terrified, so we're just going to try and nuke it. Okay. 
apparently those things are still terrifying. Okay. Oh, that only single targets, normally. Okay. Didn't realize that. I apologize for all the resets here. Um, this is definitely... We're getting into cool super boss territory, and there's probably going to be a lot more resets as we go. Um... goal this time is just going to be try and be as offensive as possible. Like, stop trying to play catch up. Just push the button repeatedly. <laughs> Globe 199 for 15,000. Bahamut. They apparently counter that with laser, which is why that is so scary. If I can get one more spell off, I think we'll be okay. Not quite. I mean, if it ain't broke. There's the levels Edward needed. Rod. Huh. Fifteen to wisdom and will. Used to cast black hole. Which, uh, black hole removes status effects. So we could, like, like, if we were doing the Gilgamesh fight where you cast Protect and Shell, we can remove those. Um, strong versus everything doesn't matter. Yeah, let's, uh, that seems like a good choice. Sure. Anybody else's gear that I changed out that I want to change back? Also, we are at... We've been doing this for quite a while, so I think it is probably time to take another break here. This dungeon is getting pretty crazy. Um, we've got two more bosses, I assume, right over here. We've still got plenty more, like, hiding somewhere, I'm sure. And then after that, we still need to go back out and do the super bosses on that aren't in the dungeon. So, yeah. I just want to make sure we can, like, uh, react to it appropriately. Like, I don't want to go out and then have to go all the way back in, if that makes sense. Um, I think I'm going to have to do that once. Like, but I'm sure there's a... At some point here, it's going to unlock, like... Better shops, 
from uh, Kokol and the spots that say sealed by a mysterious force and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyway, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.